I mean, how do they figure out who's, who's actually responsible? What are the next steps that need to happen? Well, you're going to have to go through and shift the intelligence. So you're looking for all kinds of clues. You've got visual clues, you've got electronic clues, um, and you've got different agencies who are pooling what they know. So NSA will be involved in this. Uh, the Boston police will be involved in this. Uh, people have got various different clips, and they've got to get time clips. So they'll start at the incident, probably, and work backwards from it and find some kind of indicator. So, for example, if you know who's in the area, do you know all the cell phones that are there at a particular time? Can you look on a videotape? Can you see cars that went in the area at some time? Is there, where, were the bomb, where was the bomb located? Is there any indication from any news media of some photograph of that location? Can you see people going out, in and out of They'll it? They'll be looking at all this information. All of Richard, that. how critical is timing right now? It's very critical. It will be a round-the-clock operation involving many different agencies of governments and the courts. It's important to understand for a domestic investigation like this, virtually every invasive technique that the FBI or any of the other agencies use inside Boston requires a warrant from a court, a judicial authorization. So in this country, you can't just tap a phone, you can't just uh, uh, put a beacon on a car to travel it. You need to get the authorization of the court. And so th that's a very in intensive process that will go on all night as new leads come in because what will happen is they'll find a, 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 a license plate of a car that was leaving the scene. They'll have to go get the owner of the license plate. That person will then have a name, an address, a cell phone number associated. If there's any other reason to be suspicious of them, they'll have to go up on electronic surveillance for them. And that will happen in a fractal-like way all out from the site. And some of the leads will be elsewhere in the region. Others will be international. Then the, the foreign intelligence agencies will come in. It's a very complicated, major process. And by the way, yeah, you were the deputy commissioner uh, for New York City for counterterrorism. Where would you be concentrating your efforts right now? Where are you leading this investigation in Boston? Um, all right. In the command post, there will be an investigation section who is in charge of the investigation. And that is where all the information that's coming from the hospitals, from the victim interviews, from the CCTV canvas, from the forensic investigation will be funneled in in real time. Much of it will be un un uh, unrelated to the actual event. Much of, some of it will be false. Some of it will be material. And what you need to do then is systematically go through all of this information. That will happen first and foremost at the scene, but then with backs stopping from federal agencies as needed, at least in the first hours. In a day or two, it will be 100% federal. Right now, it's a joint effort.